This video is a little different than the other ones, and the reason I'm making it is because I have a special message for some of you who might be a little frustrated with X4. My message is this. Try not to be discouraged. It's going to frustrate you. There are times in this game when you think you're doing everything right, and all of a sudden you find out that nothing is working. It's just not doing what you expect it to do. And then if you look into it, you find that you missed something, or you didn't do something a certain way, or you didn't click on the right thing, or any number of reasons. And this video is just to say, don't get discouraged, because I got discouraged when I was playing the next episode that you're going to see after this video, episode 10. Um, I made a couple of mistake. Well, some of the mistakes were my fault and some were just me not being aware of certain things about the game. For example, the first mistake that I made was I went out and I thought, well, I'm just going to hack some blueprints. So I went and I, I know how to hack blueprints. You use an EMP bomb on the station module and you, you go with it up there and you, you get close to the, the data leak and, and it works. But I had forgotten that if you don't have hacking researched, those hacks don't do anything. The EMP bombs do produce uh, the data leaks, and you can read them, but you never get a blueprint. And you, there's nothing in the game that indicates to you why it didn't work, other than the fact that there's nothing in your research showing the hacking research. And so... That was the mistake that I made that wasn't too bad in that particular episode. The next thing that happened was I didn't realize that in Avarice, now Avarice is a system of three sectors, and the sun of Avarice periodically blows up. It doesn't all explode like a supernova, but <clears throat> it, it has a shockwave that comes out every hour, and it lasts for a minute. And any ships that are caught in space during the tide, as they call it, will take massive damage and likely be destroyed. Even stations likely be damaged or destroyed unless they have this special stuff called Protection. Now, the whole thing with Tides of Avarice is around that, and you can go into Avarice before you are really aware of how this works. And the first time you go into Avarice, you know, you've probably seen my episode that shows what that looks like. But what I didn't realize was that your automated ships that are in Avarice and are trading that if the tide comes while they're waiting to trade, that they're they're going to get a warning. It was like 10 minutes. I think there's a 10-minute warning. And then they will be issued a flee command. And flee is usually where everything gets put on hold in terms of what the ship is doing, and the ship just leaves. The, the, the ship is going to either dock or it's going to leave Avarice and go to Windfall. In this particular case, there was no place to dock. So about two dozen ships, maybe three dozen, it's, it was a lot of ships, all left Avarice for Windfall and all clustered around this one spot. Now, at the time, I didn't realize that that's how it worked. I thought that there would just be docking space for everybody. I thought, thought, thought that's how it worked. But... As it turns out, uh, all of these ships took off for windfall and just sat there. So I spent a fair bit of time scratching my head wondering, what's going on? Why are these ships just congregating outside of the Avarice Gate in windfall, including three of my traders and my Odysseus destroyer? And this really confused me and until I finally realized what happened. And I, I think I know. I think I know. Later, in a future episode, you'll probably find me saying, why are there hull parts on my Odysseus? 
Why are there hull parts in the storage of my destroyer? And I think what happened was some time ago, in an episode I've already published, I must have had the Odysseus selected when I thought I had a trader selected. And when I gave the order to go into Avarice and buy some hull parts and do some trading, I must have had the destroyer selected. So the destroyer was in Avarice buying hull parts for trading or for my construction mission or other things. Not realizing it. And you got to remember that whatever you tell your ships to do, they will do it, no questions asked. And it's, the game doesn't hold your hand where it says, oh, hey, by the way, you have your destroyer selected. Are you sure you want to use your destroyer for trading? No, no, it'll just do it. So I think that's what happened. And that must have been why my destroyer was in Avarice. So then later, when the tide came, my destroyer and three of my actual traders left Avarice to sit in Windfall. And I was sitting there scratching my head going, why the hell are my ships here? And so I had a bunch of mess to unclog and tell my ships to go back to doing what they should be doing. Even though if I had just left it, they probably would have gone on their way without any help. In particular, the destroyer, I told it to go home. Now, from Avarice to, to Heretic's End, there's two ways you can get home. You can either go south through uh, Black Hole Sun and Argon Prime and get out that way. Or you can go north and you can go out through 18 billion and Second Contact and... No, is it Second Contact? Whichever one is north of 18 billion and then west to Hetikva's Choice and then up through that. Now. If you go that way, you're going to go straight past a Xenon gate, which is sadly a danger of the eastern portion of Hittikva's choice. What I didn't realize was that my destroyer, being that I, 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 I found that destroyer as a derelict ship and it had a couple of weapons on it, it doesn't have anything special on it. So what I didn't realize is that the destroyer was not equipped to handle a fight of any kind. And it, as it turns out, the destroyer tried to go home through uh, Hitikva's choice, through the gate that's right next to Xenon space, and uh, a couple of peas and some other lighter Xenon ships chased it, and they destroyed it. And that got me very frustrated. So I reloaded my game, but I forgot to save for like 45 minutes to an hour. And so you'll see that in episode 10, there's a point where I save the game. And then going forward from there, uh, I played as normal and I did a whole bunch of work. And then my destroyer got killed. And at that point I reloaded my save and it brought me all the way back to that save point. And that was quite frustrating. So I just carried on and I did everything over again. Well, the next thing that happened was I was given a mission to go meet somebody's contact in some shady location. And it sounded very much like it was just, you know, meet with somebody, typical fetch quest, and you, you're you going to uh, get instructions to go somewhere and do something. Well, as it turns out, when you go and meet with this person under the highway, as it happens, uh, you get ambushed. And I was in my scout and I got killed. And I didn't save, and it took, and that was about an hour or so of game time again. And that brought me back once more to the same save point. So this was the second time <laughs> that I got brought back to that save, and for some reason I forgot to save uh, before going on the mission. So if there's any lesson to be taken from this, it's a, a couple of things. First, save often. Because especially in X4 6.0 and forward, uh, saving is a lot quicker than it used to be. It used to take a long time. But now saving only takes, you know, 10 seconds or something like that. So save before you do anything risky. I just urge you to do that. The second thing is don't get discouraged. You're going to make some of these mistakes, just like I did in this episode. And 
it's a learning lesson. Try not to get frustrated with yourself or the game and don't rage quit the game because it's a great game. Um, but it is discouraging. I understand that. And to this little uh, video that I put together for you as deleted scenes of the bit that I couldn't put in episode 10. This is the part where I made the mistakes. Have fun watching. All right. Um. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I just realized something that I completely forgot to do. You have to, you have to research doc module hack before you can even do this. All right. All right. My mistake. That's part of the game. Part of the game is forgetting to do things how the game wants you to do them. So then you have to go and do the thing you're meant to do. So I'm going to cancel research on teleportation, and I'm going to start this will allow you to gain blueprints by scanning leaks on certain modules. Production, production module hack, because guess what? There's five different hack, hacking research. There's five different kinds of research for hacking, and the one you want has to be the one you're trying to acquire, which in this case is production module. So start research. I'm going to need all of these materials. I will need some materials to get started. And the best thing I can do right now is to direct my trade ships to getting this done as fast as possible. What the actual, why is my Odysseus in windfall? Why is my Odysseus in windfall? When did I ever? Why are four of my ships sitting in the same, what? Why is there a, a convention of ships sitting here in windfall. This makes no sense. What are they doing? I honestly don't know. But the Odysseus is supposed to be next to the HQ. And all three, all three of my traders have been sitting in Windfall doing Jack. Like they have a flea, they have a flea order. What worth? Delete, 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 delete. Buy five hundred and three advanced electronics. Two for one. They're all set to flee. They are set to flee. And they came here. Why? Honestly, that makes no sense. There's so many random ships of different factions that are all clustered together in, in a little meeting in a rather large meeting, for, for no reason, and they are all set to flee, even this ship, which hasn't ever interacted with anyone. Okay, well, time to get things fixed. I don't know what to do about these ships. I guess they'll have to figure it out on their own, but holy cow. minutes
later. I still can't believe my destroyer ended up parked here. And this guy, Lee, what the hell? What are they fleeing? Is it, is it, were they fleeing the tide? Is that what they were doing? Do all the ships, but that doesn't explain how come the destroyer was here. The Odysseus never should have left HQ. It's very suspicious. The Odysseus is taking hits. What? What? Really? There's a P, an LX, and then some another P. Ooh. It probably won't hurt the Odysseus, but that's a significant rating force. Where's where's the Argon that should be kind of fighting them? Well, he does have some weapons, so, you know, he should be able to take them off, but that's two Ps. He's got a defense drone out. That's good. I wish I could teleport over there. Because who knows how this is going to turn out, right? Come on. According to this, it's almost dead. What the hell? Holy shit. They're gonna kill it. Wow, they killed it. All right, time to reload my save. 